All right, guys, let's get it. So today we've got Speed with Fire BFB Coliseum. It's a very interesting game mode. I don't, <clears throat> I don't really play this very often. Um, but what I've seen is the strat is to go Ninja Ice Glue, believe it or not. And then hope you get a decent fourth, like Dartling. Dartling is a perfect fourth. So what, what I've seen most people do on this uh, game mode is they start with a Boomer. And then they come mid game, they'll balloon adjust with Cobra. Now, mostly what I've seen is all you have to do is counter that in order to win. So that's what I'm assuming everyone's doing. Um, yeah, like this guy, so he's starting with a boomer, <clears throat> which makes sense because early game in speed with fire, in any play with fire mode, honestly, you need something that has a lot of good grouped popping power and boomer is a good option for that. So is Ice though too, because the um, the Ice Tower, it's not really a shot, but the Freeze has technically infinite uh, Pierce. So um, so it can deal with all these Eco Balloons, even double layered as they are. Now that being said, I am gonna get up a Dartling here just for cleanup because the Ice Tower does occasionally miss. Um, and for power loadout, we've got defensive powers plus rubber to gold. Now the rubber to gold is gonna come in, uh, actually we're gonna use it right about now, because since there's double the amount of greens here that there normally is, we get um, double the money from rubber to gold, and we'll just get a ton of money coming in here in a second, you'll see. See, like we already have $1,700 just from that rubber to gold that we used, um, which is gonna help immensely for some of these early game um, rushes that we're going to send at each other, just to defend those. So yeah, I think it's a decent strategy. Um, oh, it's round six, we can send yellows. So I'm going to use my second rubber to gold here. I'm going to get up some more defense. We might actually have to glue storm this. Yeah, we 100% have to glue storm that. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get up this, this, and then maybe one more dartling, and this should defend. Normally what I would do is I'd set up like an ice shred situation, but you can only fit one ice tower in that little circle there, so we can't really do that. Um, crap, so he's rushing with pinks. Smart, smart, getting eco and uh, forcing defense at the same time. I might actually just get a 2-0 ice tower right there, <clears throat> just so I can help deal with some of this stuff. So for round 11, I'm going to stop ecoing at around 15, 55 is fine. Um, for round 11, I'm going to get an ice shards in the middle here. I'm going to make that an ice shards. And then I think a laser cannon as well. Um, and this game mode does really, you really do have to be using your fourth. So, so I'm not going to have any shame for that. I'm going to get up a laser cannon and plutonium dart so we can pop camo leads. And I think that's it. Now, so I've got a secret trick actually <clears throat> for um, speed with fire in order to get just a ton of money. And I might be able to, I'm gonna try to pull it off this game. Um, we'll see how that goes, but hopefully it'll work. Like, I, I mean a ton of money. I mean hundreds of thousands of dollars um, just with this one little cool trick. Uh, hopefully I can pull it off soon though. So we'll see how that goes. Um, it involves a lot of Arctic winds, but I need a ton of money to pull it off. Like, I think I need at least like $60,000 just to pull it off. But after I get those $60,000, I'll get hundreds of thousands of dollars in return. So, so yeah, I think it's a good idea. And that's, that's also just to give a little bit of foreshadowing. That's also why I'm saving my last rubber to gold so that we can use that trick. So yeah, so he has the Cobra tower as one of his towers. So he's going Boomer, Ninja, Cobra, and we don't know what his fourth is. So what's that? what that's gonna do is it's gonna start ramping up this balloon adjustment really quick, uh, really soon. So what we're gonna need to do to counter that is, um, hmm, we can keep spamming uh, laser cannons, um, but what I want to do eventually is I wanna get up a Ray of Doom. I'm actually gonna stab with this just because I don't like how this is going, because I see a lot of balloons on my screen. Did not mean to get that viral frost up. Um, 
Yeah, we're gonna need a Ray of Doom as soon as possible, so I'm just gonna start saving up for that. So this sells for 7k. Um, how much is Ray of Doom? 55k. God. So we're gonna saddle once more, just so that we can have some time to build up some money. And then I'm gonna sell that by this. And now we won't be having any problems with balloon adjustment from now on. So I'm gonna keep egoing. Because this Ray of Doom, if you didn't know, it has infinite popping power, at least on mobile, and infinite pierce. Or I'm sorry, it has infinite pierce and it pops 30 balloons a second, so essentially no balloons can get by it. Um Yeah, as long as we keep it aimed in the proper place, nothing will get by it. No balloons, that is. So we're going to keep it going here. Um, we actually do have enough money to pull off the little trick right now. But what I want him to do is I want him to sell some Cobras because those camo balloons that he's sending with those Cobras with the balloon adjustment, they're going to get in the way of what I'm trying to do. So I want that, that to stop before I do the little trick. I want him to sell all those Cobras before I do it. Um, although honestly, I think I have an idea. So yeah, I've got an idea. I'm going to do it on round 25. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. I'm going to get up a Ray of Doom over here. I'm going to sell this one just to reposition it. I know I lost a ton of money doing that, but there's a plan here. It's all part of the plan. So what I want to do is I want to stop E going right now. And I want to get a bunch of Arctic winds. And Oh crap, are we dead? No way did we just die. Wow. Alrighty. Alright, we're gonna give this another try. Hopefully we don't absolutely butcher this attempt like we did last time. Um, yeah, let's try that again. So, yeah, so if you couldn't figure it out, the trick involved... Why is, why is he thumbs downing? I'm not sure. The trick involved uh, regen rainbows and getting a gigantic regrow farm and then using the rubber to gold to um, get a ton of money from that. So we're going to, we set up an ice shred here and we're also going to need to get up a zero zero ninja just to deal with some of these pinks that are getting by. Um, we'll get that up here in a second, right about now. Um, I'm actually going to get up a seeking shuriken and the... Uh, whatever this is called, just so we can better deal with these pinks. And we're going to use our first rubber to gold here because we're he's going to use an eco nerf. All right, fair enough, because that means that we'll get a lot less money from our rubber to gold. We'll get about, I think we'll get half uh, of the $3. So instead of $3 per balloon popped, we'll only get 1.5. He also used a super balloon boost there, and I'm not sure why. I'm actually just going to glue storm that because it looks like it's getting a bit far. Um, so we've got some yellows here. Uh, I'm going to use another rubber to gold here. He's going to use his second eco nerf uh, soon, I'm presuming, unless he just doesn't. Super balloon boost. I'm just going to glue storm that, buddy. It's fine with me. So we're getting a decent amount of money, or we did get a decent amount of money from that rubber to gold, so we, could, we can afford this balloon jutsu to clean up. Um, so he's got the tack shooter and the boomerang. So those are pretty good towers for dealing with these group of balloons, but um, the ice is just doing so well. I mean, look at that ice shred. It's dealing with like 90% of the pinks that come by it. Um, yeah, that's, that's phenomenal. So he's already used used two super balloon boosts so i'm not too afraid of uh, a gigantic rush um yeah that's a lie i'm kind of afraid of a gigantic rush i'm gonna get up a uh what's this called glue hose just so that we can um defend against what are you sending buddy we've got the damage boost we've got the glue storm so i'm not too worried i'm fine with glue storming that and then I'm fine with boosting if we need to. Is he dead? Yeah, I, I didn't think he was going to die to that because two Glaive Lords can pretty much defend at everything. Um, yeah, alright, we're fine. 
So I'm just gonna keep E going because he's used his uh, cam grow leads. That's annoying. We're gonna get up uh, two of these and then we're gonna get this up and then we might have to boost. I'm gonna use that and we might have to boost because cam grow leads are dangerous. All right, we're fine. But cam grow leads against uh, solo ninja def uh, defense, um, that's not a fun day. We're gonna get up a nice shards here just so that we can deal with the uh, ego because the ninjas have limited popping power and the ice shards has unlimited popping power. So, so we're both egoing right now. Um, hmm. I don't know how we're actually going to deal with this part because I want to try the uh, infinite money thing, the trick. Um, but we don't have a tower that can pop infinite balloons except other than the ice shards. So we're gonna have to try this with the ice shards, and I'm not too stoked about that. But I'm gonna give it a shot. So I'm gonna get up an Arctic Wind here. I'm gonna get up another Arctic Wind here. And then I'm gonna sell two Jitsus and send a ton of rainbows. Just a ton of rainbows. So this is gonna regrow farm here. We're doing this on purpose, by the way. So that's all we're gonna send because I don't want it to get too laggy. I'm gonna get up the ice shards. I'm gonna hit the rubber to gold. Unless I screwed this up somehow. Um, this should get us a ton of money. All right, look at that. $127,000 just from that. And you saw how badly it was lagging already, so. Yeah, he's sad because he knows we he knows that we have a ton of money now. Cause so what that's gonna help us do is it's gonna let us build defense without having to worry about money. Um, we're still gonna get some eco because it's it's still worth it at this stage in the game. Um, but I think this guy, this no skill guy, has lost the game. He just sabot. All right. So he's sending us some ZOMGs. Little does he know we've got the glue the ice and the ninja. He's got the sub though, so he's gonna deal with this pretty easily. Unless I can send him camo regrows. Yeah, I'm just gonna send him camo regrows because he's just gonna die to that. All right. <laughs> he didn't He didn't leave enough money to, to keep first striking, so that's unlucky for him. We'll see you guys the next game. All right, we've got our next game against percent, 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 percent. I don't, I didn't count how many that was. Um, Treasure Hunt is a terrible map, but we can't skip it, so we're not gonna skip it. We're gonna go Ninja, Blue, Boomer, because the ice spot on this map is, well, there is none. Cannon's a great fourth, because we can get up a cluster to deal with some of the mid-game eco rushes, so I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. Um, I actually might just start with a cannon, honestly. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna do that. Put that on close. And get up a cluster bombs as soon as possible. We're gonna put this on first just to prevent some of those leaks. He's gonna use his first rubber to gold immediately. And he's he's going with a boat instead of the uh, boomer. So I'm not sure I agree with that, but okay. I'm gonna get up a cluster here. Why is it missing? I'm close. Why are we at 55 lives? All right, this is bad. I'm gonna get up a ninja just for cleanup. This is bad. This is very bad. This is very very bad. We don't want to be leaking this much this early. All right, I'm glue storming this. I have to. I had no choice because if I didn't, I would have died. <laughs> so he's got. He's gonna send me some blacks. So fair enough. Tower blindness. we dead? No, we're fine. I'm gonna boost that though, because I think my ninja is gonna get overwhelmed. Yeah, he's happy because he knows. I'm gonna use my rubber to gold here because I need to get some money, like, ASAP. Come on, give me money, give me money, give me money, give me money, give me money. I need to get up a glaive thrower, or at, at the very least, I'm gonna get up a bionic, actually. We'll see how this goes. So our rubber to gold is worn off by now. Um, this should defend everything 
he tower blindnesses me again, I can blue storm. That'll give me some time to micro. So yeah, I'm fine with that. Um, I'm gonna use my rubber to gold as well. He, if he tower blindnesses me here, I'm gonna have to burn a blue storm and then sell sell and rebuy a bunch of stuff. He's gonna use his blue storm, so well done. So his powers are what? Tower blindness, glue storm, and rubber to gold. Not sure I agree with that power combination because he doesn't really have too many defensive powers, but I mean, I guess if it works for him, it works for him. I'm gonna stop at 1600 eco because I wanna get up a Glaive Lord right about here, can I? No, I can't. I'm gonna get a Glaive Lord up right here. I'm gonna sell that. I'm gonna get this up as soon as I can. There it is. Um, he's got his Glaive Lord up. I don't know how the Tower Blindness affects the Glaive Lord, actually, if I'm honest. I'm actually going to sell this and place it closer to the track, so that if Tower Blindness... If he Tower Blindnesses me, then it can still see something. I'm going to get the distraction up as well, just in case it sounds like ceramics or something. Our Glaive Lord is doing pretty well. I'm going to get up another one soon. I think I want to place it right around here, so that it goes against the grain. Um, how many blindnesses do you get? I think it's three. It might be two. I don't know. I don't ever use it. I don't think it's a very good power, but it caught me off guard, so maybe I'm wrong. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get up another glaive board just cause. Round 16, round 16, round 16. So for the AI, I'm actually gonna get up another glaive board. He's got the Cobra. All right. You hate to see it. You hate to see it, folks. You hate to see it. So he's going to balloon adjust me, but that's fine because the Glaive Lord really counters balloon adjustment really well. Like, all you need is three Glaive Lords. And then that'll handle infinite balloon adjustments. And I've got four, but I'm going to get five. What are you sending? I guess it doesn't really hurt him because he can always just, yeah, get the boat pull. So... Fair enough, I suppose. I'm gonna sabo that, I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna spam Bloom Jitsus. Alright, it's unsaboed. Tower blindness? This should defend though, right? Yes. Alright, why? Okay, I guess he's all outing with BFBs. Fair enough. I think he's got one more tower blindness. Um, not sure about that though, so we'll see. Um, but we're gonna be getting up these, then these, and then I'm actually gonna sell these because yeah, he's gonna tower blindness me. I use a glue storm, Sabo, and then boost. That should defend. Alrighty. Yeah, alright. <laughs> well, that was a weird game. This is a weird game mode, honestly. It's hard to commentate and micro at the same time. You guys have heard, you, I mean, you've heard me complain about that before, but I'm going to keep complaining because it's, it remains to be hard. I'll see you guys in the next game. Alright, we found our game. SPDF Orbitals. All right. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, that's a chemistry reference. Um, it's like electron orbitals. They're called S, P, D, and F. Like 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. 3... Is it 3d10 or is it... Or does that start at 4? I don't remember. Whatever. If you haven't taken like a college-level chemistry course, you'll learn about that when you do. And if you don't, um, well, I envy you because it's not a fun thing to uh, learn because it's a gigantic pain to memorize all of it. Anyway, we got Concrete Alley. We're going to go Ninja Glue Ice. You already know. We got Cannon as fourth. That's a fantastic fourth. So we're going to place our ice tower here. Hopefully I didn't misplace it. Oh, I slightly misplaced it because you see that little one balloon in the corner that gets by every time. So we're, that means that we're going to need to get up a Ninja. I mean, it's not a huge deal. Um, it's just kind of annoying because it'll delay our eco slightly. Um, but we have to do it if we want to save lives. So 
Um, yeah, I guess the plan is to eco on. We're going to use our first rubber to gold on round four when uh, the ice tower starts popping greens. <clears throat> He's got his bionic boomer up already. He used his rubber to gold really early, his first one. So I'm not sure I agree with that. Um, because if you use it later on, you'll get more money. I'm going to use mine now just so that our ice tower can get some money. I'm going to stagger that. I think we staggered that pretty nicely. It's slightly off. I mean, it could be better, but it, it wasn't terrible. I'm going to get up a double shot at the back here. So yeah, so he's going to have to get, yeah, that one tur or one turbo charge. That one bionic boomer is not going to deal with all of these greens, especially layered the way they are. So uh, he's going to have to get up something else. He got up his glaive ricochet there, so well done. We're going to use our rubber to gold here, because we're going to need a balloon jutsu here, like right now. Eco nerf. All right, buddy, we're going to clue storm that. <sighs> That's annoying, the eco nerf, because it prevents us from getting as much money as we could from the rubber to gold, if he didn't, obviously. But we're going to get up our balloon jutsu here, and that should defend. We should know lives lost this. Um, <clears throat> we'll send some pinks next uh, round. I'm going to save our last rubber to gold to do that regrow trick that I did the, in that other game on Concrete Alley. But, uh, yeah. We'll see how this goes. He's, uh, I think he was struggling at one point, but he got up another uh, Glaive Ricochet and he's doing fine now. So, good for him. Uh, he's going to get up a Glaive Lord there in the bottom left. Yep, there it is. And my guess would be that he's going to start getting up some Cobras soon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get up some of these, and then I'm going to get this up to a an Ice Shards. Yeah, alright. So now we can pretty much defend anything that's non-camo, and camos will be fine against, because we've got the Glue Storm. We'll just build up another Jitsu. If he re-rushes us with camos, we sell this Eco Nerf. What are you sending me, buddy? All right, we're going to stall that, sell that, get this up, sell that, get this up. Yeah, that defends. All right, buddy. So we're going to have to get up a flash bomb here for camo leads. There it is. He's sending regular leads, not camo leads. So we can actually just... All right, never mind. We have to really storm that. But I can get... As soon as I get up this arch, ice shards will be fine. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Ice Shards is so fair. God. Alright, we're both going to keep it going on now. So that was kind of scary, but nothing that we couldn't handle. With a little bit of micro and um, a little bit of luck, we, we dealt with it fine. If he sent regrow camera, camo leads instead of just regrow leads, um, what are you sending? Does this defend? <laughs> well, he didn't defend, that's for sure. I think we would have defended, and if we didn't, I would have just boosted, so... Uh, well, that's a good note to end the video on, so, um, like, sub, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.